creepers. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Whenever you're creeping with, we are here at the beautiful Pittock Mansion entrance. And we are heading up to the Pittock Mansion today to do a little creeping. That's right. Not only is this a extremely beautiful and creepy, iconic place of Portland, some say haunted, it's also the location to the 1982 movie Unhinged, that's right, filmed right up here during the night at Pittock Mansion. Today we're gonna go up here, check out Pittock Mansion, learn some history, some haunted goodness, and also do some screen grabs from then and now for that movie. I love you guys for always creeping with, but stay tuned. We're doing a little Pittock Mansion creeping. So yeah, we're just kind of walking in off of Burnside. Normally when I come up here, I will hike up through Forest Park, but I kind of wanted to go a new route, switch things up. And also there's some information along the way here that's kind of not along the other route. They've entered these little placards here and also some of the screen used shots from that movie built in 1914 Pittock Mansion was the modern house with the latest inventions and we're gonna go up here and get a better look In 1913 and 1914, skilled local artisans constructed Pinnock Manson designed by architect Edgar Folks, reinforced concrete and framed sandstone and filled the interior with fine woodwork, stone decorations, which you can see a lot of it actually in the movie. Most of this was, well, all of it, the inners and outers, exteriors and interiors were used in the production of the movie. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. I don't think we're gonna be able to actually tour it today But I did find some screen use shots from when the movie was being filmed and also From the actual screen use shots Wow they even have some old-timey pics here what it looked like in 1914 The home also featured the latest technology with thermostat controlled central heating and a central vacuum system. Vacuum system. Wow. That is so cool. All right, let's get up here and get a better view. Yeah, just an incredibly beautiful mansion. Very creepy too, with the like, I think they're called witches hats. So yeah, in 82, they used this as the filming locations for the movie Unhinged, which actually they did a remake uh, a couple years back but the original was shot here and they had to shoot it during the night because this is open to the public during certain hours so they actually had to come here at night get in all the shots and uh, utilize as much as they could while the mansion was closed to the public but yeah just a very beautiful yet creepy mansion and i believe some more of the Screen use shots were filmed just right over here. But I also wanted to just kind of take you guys around real quick and just give you a good view of the mansion itself. And they do offer tours here, which we might do at some point but I was able to find most of the screen use shots from the movie online. So we might save that for another tour. But just a very, very, very beautiful mansion. So what I remember is Henry Pittock was a, like a newspaper mogul for the Oregonian he came the, the very first uh, owner and publisher, and they met up here, him and his 
future wife, Georgiana, they arrived separately by wagon trains in the 50s. And by then, you know, back then, Portland was just a muddy village, as you can see here in some of these old timey shots. There's a picture of them out front here at the side entry, circa 1914. They transformed Portland to a blooming modern city connected by the railroad, telephone, and telegraph. And if I, if my memory serves me correctly too, they actually had a lot of like, you know, amenities in the house that no one had seen before, including a vacuum cleaner that was like embedded in the wall. And it's also known for his lavish, like showers and other kind of facilities that no one really had seen before. Pretty dang cool. So the mansion can really be seen very well throughout the movie, but one of the main pictures that I caught that gives a really great view of the whole backside here um, is when she's coming out of these doors here, kind of in her work clothes with the apron on and just kind of walking around, not really quite sure as to what's actually going on here at the mansion. Now this place, now this movie rather, is about three teenagers that are driving, have something wrong with their car, it's raining out, they actually get into a little bit of a mishap right off of one of the main roads and end up coming up here to the Piddick Mansion to find some salvation. And the people that own it invite them in, but very unexpected as to what will take place <laughs> during their visit. And you can actually see her walking out this way. You can see all these windows. Basically, the whole mansion makes the shot. But that would have been it. Those are the doors right there. And it really doesn't look much different at all since 82. The screen use shots that were filmed on the interior, I was able to find online too. We're not going to actually do the tour today, but I was able to find where those were located up in the second and third floors would have been the girls' bedrooms. And like I said, most, all of it was used, the interiors and exteriors. So not a lot has changed. I mean, it's basically the same mansion other than, you know, the gardening and everything like that but pretty cool to see that all these years later not to mention just how cool the place looks <laughs> anyways another shot would have been right about here they use this angle a lot in the movie actually but this shot would have been the owner she was looking for the girls and she came out this way and in the shot you kind of see her poke her head out she's actually standing right here but all this makes the shot you can see all the windows and that would have taken place right about here a lot of the shots actually for this angle kind of just showing the entire mansion then you see her walking this way and in this movie or in this scene rather she was coming out of this door here and you can actually see all this ivy which is way overgrown since 82 but this is the spot and what gave it away here was this kind of trim here on the door you can kind of see the louvering and here's the actual door that you would have seen her coming out of which was uh the garage looks like They purchased a 1912 purse automobile for easy access to downtown. And this is looks like a little photo op here of what the car looked like. But this was the garage. Now it's converted into the museum store and restroom. But that would have been it right about there. You would have seen just her coming out of this door. And all this ivy was here as well. But really overgrown since then. Okay, I was wrong. I was super close. But this is actually the screen you shot here. It's still the garage, but in this angle gives it a better depiction. This is a one door entry. I thought it was the garage, but as you can see from 82, all these vines are still here. It's still the same, obviously building, but this door was the door that you would have seen her come out of right here. And as I can see in the screen you shot, you can see all these like little bevels here on the woodworking. And in fact, I think if you can see this old bell here, it's been here since the, fit, the movie was filmed way back in 82. And look how much the ivy's grown too. Wow, that's incredible. But that would have been it right there.
just kind of on the back side here because I could have sworn there was another screen grab in one of these doors back in here I think one of the characters kind of maneuvers through here for 1982 it's also a very scary movie I have to say it's very well done not corny and uh, I was only two when it came out but I love watching kind of the older horror movies from that genre all of them really but yeah this is just so cool being up here right now too and seeing this pretty much castle here Absolutely gorgeous. Walk up the stairs here. I've never actually been up this far, like onto the porch. Absolutely stunning. Might be able to put the camera up against the window just for a second. floors absolutely gorgeous there was a uh, Madonna movie filmed here too body evidence I believe there was some shots used here in one of the bedrooms um, and it's funny too because it's rained so much here in Portland that they really utilize um, for the movies for both movies kind of that crummy weather giving it more of that spooky feel for the unhinged movie but you gotta love it. Absolutely gorgeous. And very creepy as well. Pretty cool. All right, let's go get some more info. I believe these are like windows, but they act as a skylight, I believe, for like the basement. So the light kind of beads through these and pro projects light down um, onto the basement, I, I take it. But these are all through here too so i'm guessing they kind of utilize these for lighting i could be wrong here it is from the front porch just a stunning stunning view of downtown portland which we're going to go check out here in a minute so cool Wow, all the folks that donated their time and money. November 2013, it was totally renovated. Very nice. Also, right about here, right where the trail kind of leads to the other connecting trail that will take you down to Forest Park, this little area right here was actually used in the movie as well. And if, I, if I'm kind of estimating roughly where this would be, a very iconic part of the movie, a very crucial scene, takes place right about here when she is greeted by none only than the Grim Reaper herself, kind of crawling up through the woodwork here trying her making her way back to the house she's actually completely hacked to death by the grim reaper and his big axe or sickle whatever it's called and i believe most of the interior shots that were used for the girl's bedroom and whatnot were up on one of these two or second or third floors i think that most of the shots were like upstairs and in one of the shots, you can actually see the little creepy guy spying on the girls through the little <laughs> hole in the wall that he built. And so. And then we will come back someday and actually tour the full mansion. And I just checked the price. It's not bad, 14 bucks um, to get in. And they said, make sure you're here like half an hour to an hour before 
because it takes about an hour to get the full tour. And she did confirm there was the high-tech kind of vacuum system and everything like that that the Piddix had way before anybody. <laughs> so all the days of newspaper mogulin paid off. But yeah, just a incredible view this morning. I think I picked like one of the best days to come up here. All right, so I just met some really nice folks and they're having me take their picture. So I might have to come over here real quick. Probably not supposed to walk on the grass, but that's okay, because we're gonna do like this. You guys ready? A double vlog in here. Wow, those are great. I feel bad though, I don't think I was technically supposed to walk on the grass, but I walk lightly. <laughs> You're welcome. You guys have a great time in Portland. I want to mention this beautiful weeping willow here too. These are like some of my favorite trees. Gives it kind of that creepy vibe. But nothing really too creepy about this view other than it being absolutely stunning. When I got up here this morning, it was still kind of foggy. But now it is absolutely stunning. Got Mount Hood out there in the distance. Just gorgeous. One more. Oh, oh, it's a mechanical. Oh, it's a mechanical. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. Okay, so that's what? That's like a tiny Polaroid camera. So cool. What? What, what kind of camera is it? Instant. What brand? Instax Mini. Wow, this zoom really works good. The coin tower there. Big pink. Just... Yeah, the views up here are just stunning. Probably one of the best views you can get of downtown Portland. That's going to do it from the beautiful Piddick Mansion. Appreciate you guys for always tuning in and creeping with. I'm going to go back home now and watch the 1982 Unhinged movie. Absolutely love the horror, especially with Halloween creeping in. Full effect, the creepy Piddick Mansion. If you guys are in Portland, definitely worth the visit. I love you guys. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. If you haven't, you can ring that bell that way when I creep. You guys will be the first to creep. Until next time, creeper out for now.